Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device Tutorials. Here we're going to do a uh, setup video of the Nexus Player, um, which is made by Asus. Um, I did an unboxing earlier so you can actually see what all comes with it when you purchase it. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, yes, first things first, I did just set a TV on a couch for this video. <laughs> um, <clears throat> first thing you're going to want to do is actually go to the Google Market, um, and I'll show you why later. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download um, the Nexus Player Remote Control. And that's this right here. Okay. Um, what that will do is it will allow you to type in things easier with this because the remote that comes with it is just a very simple remote that you're not really going to want to um, have to go and arrow through to different things when you're typing. Okay. So that's first things first. <clears throat> Second, HDMI cable. You're going to want an HDMI cable hooked up to the back of your TV. And then on the back of this unit, you'll see an HDMI um, output. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, second is your power adapter. Um, you will plug your power adapter into the back. The micro USB you don't necessarily need yet. Um, you can use that, uh, you know, for additional storage and things later. But we won't get into that right now. So when you first turn it on, you can actually see what's going on here. Now this is my first time using this as well, so um, we are learning setup together. The first time you turn this on, that first period takes a long time. Um, you will be waiting for several minutes, um, probably two minutes anyway. Okay, so it looks like here what they want us to do is hold those two buttons down. And then it pairs to the remote. So again, the two buttons that lit up were the back and the home buttons. We just held those down and then let off when it asked. Here, set up uh, your language. English. So just tap the center here to select. Um, Wi-Fi networks. <clears throat> Moki Connect is the one we're using, but you'll see any other networks in the area. Um, I have a password for my Wi-Fi. When first getting it, it looks like there is an update, so you'll have to wait for that update to complete once connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay, <clears throat> so here, now we're at a point where um, we can go ahead and sign into Google to, you know, so that we can download our apps and everything else. Um, you can either use your phone um, or laptop or use your password. Um, we will go ahead and say use phone or laptop. And what it's going to do is, is you need to go to this website and it will um, and enter this code and it will allow... Okay, so once you hit connect online, it will automatically connect.
And then once you um, have plugged in the code and it says here that you can connect, then from the computer you will also see uh, something that says sign in and when you click that it will put you to this sc screen. So we'll say uh, continue. You can view the terms if you want. But, um, location settings, yes, I always leave it on. It's really up to you. Setup is complete. So we'll hit finish. Okay. Now here, this is where um, you're on it, it's all set up, but your phone, to get back to that. If you download the uh, Nexus remote control, or Android TV remote, you're going to open that up, and you see it shows the Nexus player, so you're going to want to select it. And it connects, and here you see it's pairing code, so we'll go ahead and type that in and pair and that's it so now you can use your remote here to do stuff see it arrowing around and it works just like the actual remote the only difference is when you need to type there's a keyboard Oops. No. so makes it much easier than taking that remote and arrowing through letters um, so that's why I recommend you download that app. <clears throat> um, we'll get into another um, video of a full review of this. Um, the player itself just wanted to kind of do a setup with me doing it for the first time as well so that um, anybody else connecting can kind of see it even if we ran into any issues. Um, I hope this video helps for those of you that wanted a little help setting it up. Um, otherwise, just ask any questions you have in the comment of this video or head on over to AndroidAdvice.com uh, and, and ask them there. Thanks for watching.